Okay, so this is Stephanie Rice. She's a reporter from the Collegian who's been covering Adnan's story. Um, I know you talked a lot to the professors who are also in support of Adnan. Mm -hmm. What are most of the professors' reactions to Adnan's situation? Well, the professors that I spoke with, um, I really only spoke with Dr. Wang, but he mm -hmm. worked out um, the petition that they sent to the government, and that was signed by several professors. And I did talk to a few others who were his professors, and they were all not really surprised right. <laughs> that he was involved in in um, activism and involved mm -hmm. in like democratic reform and things like that. So, and they were all definitely really supportive of him. Said that he was, you know, an excellent student and that you know they really enjoyed having him in class and that they're, you know, everyone's really upset that he was arrested, but that they're glad that he's, you know, used his UR experience to move on to do something. Right. <laughs> so. Um, when you first heard about the situation personally, what was your reaction and what inspired you to begin following the story so closely? Well, um, as a journalism student, when I found out that an alum had been arrested, it was like, yes, <laughs> we have a really great story here. And um, I was in California because it was the summer, Christmas, it was summer. And um, it was like 11 o'clock at night mm -hmm. when I first got the email. Yeah. And so our, you know, Dan Petty was one of the other mm -hmm. um, reporters who worked on it a lot during the beginning. And it was just, you know, let's get as much information as we can and figure it out. And it, it, it was shocking to find right. out that, you know, an alum had been arrested. But um, as we learned more information, it, it got to be really interesting. And um, we were able to, I talked to his dad on the phone mm -hmm. and um, emailing back and forth with people. It was, it was really busy and, right. you know, really fast paced and, you know, get out what you can as fast as you can. Yeah. So. <laughs> Can you give us like a summary of everything that has been taken, like actions that have been taken in his defense, or maybe just maybe <laughs> not a summary, but anything that you know of um, that has mm -hmm. that has been done for him? Everything. Well, I mean, it started with their his and Amin Millie's mm -hmm. activist groups, right? You know, getting together and. They basically immediately put stuff up on, on Facebook and, um, you know, the, the blog right. that's specifically for, you know, their situation. And, um, I mean, people have made videos. They've done so many different protests. They've um, they protested in different cities throughout the world, and then they have tried to get as many people together during the trial process, like as they were in court, they were protesting outside the courtroom, and mm -hmm. now that they've had all these appeals, they've um, tried to get people together there, and I mean, there are t-shirts and posters and yeah. um, all kinds of things, and people um, petitioning their own governments and petitioning the Azari government, and um, people sending in letters and you know, writing blogs and making videos mm -hmm. and basically doing everything that you can with social media yeah. to <laughs> advocate for the release. So maybe um, the mo would the most recent protest be about his most recent appeal? Um, I haven't seen anything in a little while about um, any particular protests. Mm -hmm. I think the most recent ones was a few weeks ago they had a protest, in, like a protest in London and a protest in um, Azerbaijan and a protest in New York or something mm -hmm. like that. And there's an a coming forum um, in D.C. with a bunch of really important people about um, the like Azeri U.S. relations right. and things like that. So, cool. Um, <laughs> I know you've been in contact with his father and his girlfriend. Um, what What are their reactions to the re the recent appeal rejection? If you talk to them at all, I'm not. I haven't talked to them since the most recent appeal. I get emails from his dad, mm -hmm. and that's how I get like a lot of the updates on what's going on. Right. Um, the last time I really emailed or talked with um, his father at all, I mean, it was obviously, you know, they're, they're upset and they miss him and want to make sure he's okay. And right. um, but they're they're also both working really hard to get him released. So they've done. Um, you know, dispersing information. His girlfriend's made videos, and she goes to a lot of the protests. And, mm -hmm. and, and they're all things, in so. Um, Her, his um, parents live there, and his, I think his girlfriend 
kind of travels around. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not sure yeah. exactly where she is at any given moment, but um, okay. I mean, they're all from Azerbaijan. Right, right. Okay. So. Um, have they mentioned anything to you about being concerned for his safety or his treatment in prison? Um, the biggest thing was when he, they initially were arrested. Um, they weren't given medical care, even though um, Adnan had a broken nose and Amin had like a hurt foot, and they were both pretty, you know, badly beat up. There, there are pictures. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, so that they didn't get medical care when they first got there, and then um, there hasn't been much mention of it since then. But um, and, and you know, apparently, prisons in Azerbaijan aren't the cleanest, nicest right. places to be. So. Yeah. Do you know what wh whoever plans on doing next? What I'm not planning on doing next, or his family? Do they have any plans? Well, uh, after the I got the you know information about the most recent appeal, there wasn't any mention of what was happening next. Like I don't know how many times they can appeal because mm -hmm. um, this is the seventh appeal um, and it's right. been rejected. Um, so. There was mention of appealing to some kind of like EU court, like some kind of European um, court, and I don't know what the process is for that or how right. it happens. So, um, yeah, and and it's really difficult to figure out a Zeri law because it's yeah. not online right. or anything. So, and if it was, it wouldn't be in English. <laughs> right, right, exactly. So, <laughs> um, and then I guess just our last question as an outgoing senior who's been covering this for a while. What, if anything, would you like to see the university do in response to the ongoing situation? Well, I think the university's done pretty well. Like the professors um, have spoken. We had a, a CCE brown bag mm -hmm. on the whole thing, and you know, students and professors and you know, random people were able to come and talk about it. Um, I think that we just can't forget about it, mm -hmm. that the important thing is to keep reporting on it, to keep keep up with what's going on and hopefully you know, your blog will be really helpful with that because the my understanding is that the, the government in Azerbaijan is just kind of hoping that if they wait long enough people will forget about it right. and they'll stop talking about it and stop, you know, appealing. <laughs> but um, if even if it takes, you know, even if people are doing things over the two years and they still spend two years in prison, at least, you know, the government sees that people aren't forgetting about it and they're still going to stand up for, you know, freedom of speech and right. things like that. So um, I think that's really the most important thing is for people to keep keep up with it and to keep learning and mm -hmm. figuring cool. out what's going on. So Yeah, definitely. Do you think we need to ask any questions about like the background? Okay. All right. Well that's all we have. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much for Thank you. Yeah. That. And I mean, all the collegiate articles are online, and then um, EurasiaNet.org, something like that, yeah, is a really good website that's been reporting. They actually have a reporter in Azerbaijan who like speaks Russian. What on is that? EurasiaNet.org, yeah, Eurasia something like that. It's EurasiaNet.org.com. I think it's .org. Yeah, we'll definitely. Um, look they're that like up. a news that we and we've used some of their information, and then all the collegiate articles are online. Right. And, yeah, we agree with yeah. yeah. And the Tehran Information Agency is where you get a lot of stuff too, but their website's really confusing. So. Was it loud enough? Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.